Hi, it's Adam uh, talking today about string monitoring and uh, some of the new innovations that we've come up with to do some sort of ad hoc or I call it freelance data monitoring uh, to do some monitoring of the DC health of the system uh, that's deployed in the solar field. So most often string monitoring uses some CTs built into a little assembly. The assembly goes inside a combiner box out in the solar field. Here in our building we've got a little panel mounted group of CTs so that we can monitor the 12 strings coming in on our building and then it's serial communications back to a data logger here. The good thing about it is it's, it's sort of engineered into the product up front. It's engineered into a combiner box at a, at a utility scale solar field. Uh, the bad thing about it is you got to engineer it in up front so it's not something that you can easily add after the fact without having to take the site offline. Uh, isolate everything so that you can remove a wire, run it through a CT, uh, and then re-terminate the wire. The value of string monitoring is pretty well understood to know whether your DC health is good or not good, but the implementation for what has been available in the marketplace to date hasn't been really great. Uh, it's expensive. Uh, again, a rule of thumb that I use um, is it, it costs about $10 to implement an analog tag into a SCADA system. If you've got 12 tags per string, 12 strings per inverter, 144 tags, now you're talking $1,400, $1,500 per inverter just to have some extra data. The trick has always been if you had 150 amps yesterday uh, coming out of an inverter and you have 140 amps today, where do you find the 10 amps? We've come up with a solution that we think will help in the marketplace. It's kind of doing what I have called a freelance data collection, where we go out to a site with a data logger, a bunch of clamp-on CTs, and a solar panel so it's self-sustained and it's non-intrusive. Clamp the CTs onto the DC strings and the harnesses that are doing the DC collection before they go into the combiner box. And over the course of a couple days of collection, we get a good apples-to-apples -apples comparison of the current that comes from one string versus the next during a consistent consistent voltage window and we do about five minute data collection so we can pack up the system, move it to a new array or a new combiner box, do some analytics and give you a report on whether the system's working as expected or not. We used it here in our building. We have a 30 kilowatt rooftop system. Um, with 12 uh, strings. We had never realized since the system was installed, but one of our strings was actually giving us no current at all. Didn't seem right, did some testing, swapping out uh, instruments, and verified that that was the case. Went up on the roof to do a little investigation and found a little melted MC4 connector. We've been losing about $60 a month worth of energy since our system was installed almost two years ago. For one data sample, we've got an 8% improvement in energy. Uh, so that's great. Uh, I don't expect to find that out in the field, but when you do have 1,200 connections, 1,200 strings coming into a single inverter, we know that there are problems out in the field in DC Health. So this is a field service that we can provide. We can also work with you to have your folks do it. We can also bring in a third party um, that's local to the area to do it. I think the analytics around finding these problems has always been interesting. It's always been something that's geeked me up. Hopefully it brings some value, uh, gets you a little more energy, and a little more energy turns into a little more dollars.